Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss R. I think this is a page they're probably doing in math class, making change from a $1 bill in Chapter 14.5. So I'll try to help you now and see if we can't learn this together. Okay? All right. Number one, you buy the item shown right here. You pay with a $1 bill. What is your change? Well, how much does it cost? It costs 45 cents, right? Yes, it does. So the way we figure that out is we want to know how much we have to take out of $1. So we write $1 and then we're going to take away 45 cents. So what do we do when we have to take something away? We subtract. Very good. So this is my subtraction problem because we are taking it away. So we have zero. Can you take five out of nothing? No, you cannot. So this becomes a nine. Can you take five out of 10? Well, yes, you most certainly can. And you end up with five. So I'm going to write down five. Nine take away four gives us how many? Five. Is it $55? No, that would be crazy. You bring your decimal down, it's 55 cents. So here's our answer, 55, whoops. So I'm going to just pick that right up and bring 55 cents right there, okay? Nope, I can't do that, okay. If I stop using my tool, then I can pick it right up. And I pick it right up and I move it right there, right? So 55 cents is our answer. Let's check it. Well, there you go. Your change is 55 cents. Good job. All right, let's go to our next one. All right, you buy the item shown. Well, here it is. You pay with a $1 bill. What is your change? How much does it cost? 76 cents for this little alligator right here. You buy the item shown. Whoa. You pay with a $1 bill. What is your change? All right. Well, let me see if I can, if I can help you out with that. All right. Okay. So we have you pay with a dollar. One dollar, same like we did last time, because that's how much you have. And we're taking away how much? We're taking away 76 cents. So put 76. And this is a takeaway problem, right? So we have to take away. Okay. Take that 10 and make it a 9. And since it came out of the 10s column, we put a 10 right there. So 10 and 6 out of 10 leaves how many? 4. 9, take away 7, it's 2. And you bring down your decimal, so it's 24 cents. That's exactly right. Okay, so we bring our 24. We bring our 24 right there. Is that the answer? Well, yes, it most certainly is. All right, let's go to our next problem. You buy the item shown. You pay with a dollar. What is your change? Well, let's give it a try. We have one dollar. This is the dollar. This is the cent. So there's zero cents. How much are we taking away? Well, we're taking away 13 cents because we want to buy this nice little ball. Okay. 10 becomes 9. We take that one we borrowed and we put right here. 10 take away 3 is 7. 9 take away 1 is 8. Put down your decimal for a cents. So how much is it? You're right, it's 87 cents. Double check that. Well, there you go. Yes, we are right. Good for us. All right, let's work on number 4. You buy the item shown, you pay with a dollar. What is your change? All right, so we have, we're paying with the dollar, right? 
one, zero, zero. Okay, whoops. And we take away 37 cents. Cents, 30, seven. We're taking away, draw our line. Take the 10, and make it a nine. We take this zero and make it a 10. Seven out of 10 leaves you three. Let's see, it's gonna be this or this, right? Nine take away three, how much? Six. So it's 63, right, okay. So we bring up our 63. Are we right? Well, yes, we are right. All righty. All right, I hope that helps you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, bye. Well, actually, there's a little bit more, so let's continue. A puzzle costs 68 cents. Newton pays for it with $1. Choose two ways to show his change. Okay, so he started with how much money? Started with one dollar, one point zero zero, and he a puzzle. So he's going to be spending sixty-eight cents. So let's mark that down. Sixty-eight, and we're trying to figure out. And this is the takeaway because it's how much he's planning on spending. So now we're trying to figure out how much left. How much is he going to get in change? Well, let's figure it out. This 10 becomes a nine. One comes over here. 10, take away eight is two. Nine, take away six is three. So 32 cents is how much he's gonna get back. So let's figure out which one here would be 32 cents. Could it be this one? Well, yes, it could be. I don't know why that boxes there. Could it be this? Because there's two cents. Yep. This one has two cents, two cents, two cents. Okay. So it could be any one of those. 32. Hmm. I'm thinking there might be a quarter there because a quarter is worth 25. So let's see if it would be this one. 25, 30, 5, 36, 37. Hmm. No way. Can't be this one. I'm going to X that one right out. How about this one? 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. Yep, it could be that one. That's for sure. How about this one? 10, 20, 25, 26, 27. No way. How about this one? 25, 30, 31, 32. Well, yes, it can be. So those are our two answers that are possible for this problem. The first one and the last one. Okay. All right, let's see. You buy a pencil sharpener. You give the cashier $1. You get back two quarters, one nickel, and three pennies. How much did the pencil sharpener cost? Hmm, this is a pretty big deal problem. Lots of steps to it, lots of steps. Okay, let's figure it out. You buy a pencil sharpener. You give the cashier $1. All right, so we started with $1, right? Okay, and we took away some money, and we ended up, he gave us back two quarters, so what's that, 25, 50, and then in nickel, it's 55, 56, 57, 58. So we ended up getting 58 cents back. Hmm, okay. How much did the pencil sharpener cost? That would be the number that would go right in here, wouldn't it? Because that's how much we spent. Hmm, so let's see. Well, I know if I take this number 
and I add it to this number, I would get a dollar because this is how much I have left. This is how much I spent. This is how much I started with. So let's see, do I think 58, I'm going to use my thinking, put on my thinking cap. Hmm, do I think 58 and 62 would add up to a dollar? I don't think so because 5 and this 6 would be at least 11, not this 10. That can't be it. How about 42? I'm going to take 58 cents. And I'm going to add it to 42 cents and see what I get. 8 plus 2 is 10. I'm going to put down a 0, put 1 up here. 5 and 1 is 6 and 4 is 10. And I know that the decimal comes right down in a problem like this. So that's a dollar. So that's how much I spent on the pencil sharpener. Because I have 58 cents. I still have that was my change. I spent 42 cents and I started with a dollar. So I know the answer is 42. And I'm going to take it. And I'm, whoops. I'm going to take it. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to move it right here. And there's my answer, 42 cents. Good job. Okay, you buy an onion for 51 cents and a pepper for 22 cents. You pay a dollar. What is your change? Well, let's see. Hmm, I spent 51 cents. I spent 51 cents and I spent 22 cents. Well, if I add those together, I always start in the one column, right? No matter what. So it goes 3, 5 and 2 is 7. So I spent 73 cents, but I started with how much? Oh, yeah, a dollar. Okay, so here's my dollar. And I spent 73 cents. I took away out of my wallet. I took away 73 cents, right? So I have to take it away. Okay, we're going to take that 10 and we're going to make it a 9. We're going to put our, we're going to put our 1 right here because it came from the 10s column. 10 take away 3 is 7. 9 take away 7 is 2. So after I spent 73 cents on a pepper and an onion, how much do I have left? 27 cents. Well, yes, I do. Okay. So we take 27 cents and we put it right there. Is that the answer? Let's check. Well, it most certainly is. Good for us.